Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, now the show you've been all waiting for, Mr. 702 from Las Vegas is going to speak to you. Awareness of our wellness. That should mean a lot to us because we're getting older. And as we get older, we need to know what's in our foods. Is it enough to supply us throughout the day to have a healthy day? A day that your body has enough nutrition, that it has enough energy that you're just giving the fuel that your body requires on a day-by-day basis. Are we doing that? And are we receiving those fluids throughout our food? That's what today's topic is gonna be about. We gotta find out if we're doing the right thing because I mean, every day we get older and older and the food that we consume in this country, let's face it, it's not the best. It's got a lot of GMO. It's got a lot of artificial color and flavors, and it's just, wow, what are we really eating? We're getting sicker and sicker. Americans are not lasting too long. Wow, I got friends that are dying at the age of 54, 53. I'm 51, kind of scares me. I think it's time for us to open our eyes and do the checkup that we fear the most, going to the doctor, finding out what's going on, you know, no, we, the, some people believe in, uh, I gotta die of something. And you know, unfortunately, it's not true. We don't die. We get sicker and sicker and sicker. And in today's society, to be a sick person means you can't produce means you can't help out around the house. You need help yourself. Do we have that help? That is the question all of us should be asking ourselves. If you're living alone, if you're a person where your kids are off to college, making their own lives, and you depend on yourself, it's time to open our eyes. It's time to look at and be aware of our wellness. It's time to take care of ourselves and look at the labels of what we consume on a day-by-day basis. If you have favorite foods that you like to eat, well, that's where we have to start out today. Let's get the food that you like so much and let's read the nutrition facts. Let's see what it contains. Is it beneficial for you? Are you getting sick and not knowing why? But we're making ourselves sick. If you're eating all the wrong foods and not getting a healthy and balanced diet in your system, well, then your body's not gonna be running the same way. Yeah, you may say, well, I've been doing this for years and years and years. Well, let's figure this out. For years and years and years, your body has adapted to the food you've been giving them. But what happened with all these years is the food has been changing. The food, our food source, our meats, our cows, our chickens, they're not seeing the light of day. They're being processed without growing the way we were used to by feeding the proper nutrition to the animals and then preparing them for consumption. And that's the change that we see nowadays here in America. Everything is processed. Everything is faster microwaves come on how can we continue this lifestyle of going so fast and not giving our body the right nutrition that all we're doing is sickening ourselves and as we get sicker it's harder for us to get off of bed it's harder for us to have this healthy attitude and positive energy because face it folks you don't feel good You feel tired all the time. You're yarning. Then people are going out and they're getting all these energy drinks that are terrible for you. They're loaded with sugars. 
Not only do they make you gain weight, but they destroy the nutrition in your body, destroy your nerves. What are we doing to ourselves? Just because we used to do it in the old days with the coffee doesn't mean that we have to wake up in the morning and stimulate ourselves in that kind of fashion. When all we're doing is weakening our body, the perfect machine, but yet we destroy it because we treat our cars better than we treat our bodies. And that's the truth. Now, the thing with holistic medicine, with functional medicine, is the following. Insurance companies don't want to cover it. Insurance companies don't even want to talk about it because there's no money in it. But the facts remain. Functional medicine works. It makes the difference. We have to go back to our old days where we existed with the pyramid of food, where we cared about our nutrition and what we consumed. Now is the time to change back to the way we were. And these are the changes that we have to believe in and we have to change for, even though if our insurances don't pay for it. And they don't pay for it, folks, just for the simple reason that insurance depends on pharmaceutical industries. Pharmaceutical industries depend on laboratories. Laboratories depend on scientists. So they keep on using us as guinea pigs. And what happens at the end is you start Zoloft or you start one of these medications and you see it on TV two months later after it's killed 300, 500 people. And then they're saying, please stop it at once. Aren't you tired of that? Aren't you tired of being a diabetic with a pancreas that doesn't produce insulin and still depend on that medicine or that injection that really is just a bypass product for you to bypass your problems? Aren't you tired of that? Why not work with the pancreas? We've seen cases where we work with the pancreas, the person changes their diet, they become more disciplined in their body, and they do the changes necessary, and they beat it. They beat it, folks. Everything is possible as long as we're disciplined in what we eat and what we consume on a day-by-day basis. That's who we are. We have to be smarter. We have to evolve into the world that we live in today, which is poisoning us. They're poisoning us. The food quality is terrible. And then we have shortages. It's time to pay attention to what's going on and make the changes that we need to make in order for us and our families to be able to grow old together, to be able to see our grandkids. At the rate we're going, we're not getting to see the future. Our lives are ending earlier because of the consumption of food in America. And there's many videos out there that you guys can check out on YouTube and everything. Uh, America's dirty little secrets on our foods. There's so many out there that it's incredible of what you're going to learn. The cows don't go out to the pasture anymore, you know? Like in the old days. Now they're just injection, injection, injections in order to them to grow overnight. To prepare for the butcher in the morning and then start feeding us. So we can buy this meat that's got no quality. Now we got something going on with ticks in our meat. I mean, it's not one thing, it's another. But it's always something wrong with our food sources. When are we going to start paying attention to the food source in America? We keep on bypassing it like it's nothing. We care more about our cars, our house, and our way of living with material junk than we do about our food sources. Now it's time to really say, hey, hold on. What's going on? I'm going to the supermarket. Refrigerators are empty. We're looking at just bad food. Fruits are coming in and they got mold in them before they take them out of the boxes. What does that mean? Is everything being frozen and destroyed before it comes to our plate? These are the questions we have for our next guest. We're going to go to a short commercial. We're going to come back with a naturopathic doctor. Her name is Anna. She's a great doctor. She's been doing it for years, folks, here in Las Vegas, practicing her uh, wellness center here. And uh, it's time to make the difference. It's time to open our eyes and face the music and really do something about it. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. I want to invite you to listen in to my podcast, 
every day from Monday through Friday. We got hot topics that we're going to be discussing and talking about from here in Las Vegas and around the world. You don't want to miss this podcast because it's going to be burning hot with these topics. Don't miss it. From Monday to Friday, talking to Mr. 702. And we're back again, and of course, we're coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, where today's topic is awareness for our wellness. Very important, because really, our wellness is everything. If you don't feel good, you're going to have a terrible day, you're going to wake up and everything goes wrong. You feel good, energy's positive, and all day, you have a great day. And that's all we can hope for in the world that we're living in today, is just having a good day, coming home getting that love that so much we want and we eager for from our family members and just sit down to a good meal and just enjoy each other. So, like I said before, I have a great guest today with me. Her name is Anna. She is a naturopathic doctor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and she's at a wellness center. It's an affordable wellness center. Uh, it's called Holistic Rescue and really doing the difference for a lot of people that are just tired of being sick, tired of going to these medical uh, doctors and getting the same result, nothing. Now it's time to make the difference, make a difference. Uh, Anna, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how about you, Guido? I'm doing awesome, like always. So, as you saw, the topic today is awareness for our wellness. Uh, I think it's very important for us to start talking about our wellness. Um, normally, um, a person only go visit their doctors and talk about wellness is only when they really are tired of not seeing any results with their uh, regular and standards um, pharmaceutical therapeutic uh, treatments. And most of us don't understand that before it becomes a diagnosis, it's in our hands to be aware of our wellness. So exactly the the way you mentioned in the title of the show of today, explains in details how important it is for us to not wait for the diagnosis. So means naturopathic medicine, functional medicine is the first base and prevention of disease. Okay, so functional medicine, a lot of our listeners don't know what functional medicine is. Uh, Let's say I have arthritis or I have diabetes or I have uh, any other problem with cholesterol, pterygocytes, is this the medicine that I should be seeking? It's it is, especially if your regular um, treatment it's not working and you don't see results and you haven't seen any results, good results in the last 12 months of your therapeutic pharmaceutical um, uh, medicine that's being applied for whatever is your diagnosis. If you don't see results in 12 months, and especially in two years of already doing the same type of therapeutic pharmaceutical therapy, means it's not working for you. There could be many, many reasons. So that's why functional medicine was born around 30 years ago. It started based exactly on the practice of MDs that that, that were very tired of seeing their own patients not getting better. So they started looking for what we call the root cause. But it takes a doctor with a lot of dedication to spend hours of investigation in one individual to find the root cause of their health issue. So that's where and when a functional medicine was born, based in the MD's extra work, based in looking and researching for the root cause. After that, A lot of gynecologists, dentists, and including chiropractic use functional medicine 
to help their patients in different ways, but naturopathic doctors have more deep um, information and knowledge and background and putting together naturopathic medicine and functional medicine, we are able to make a big difference in, people, in, in, in people's health and in, in our patient's health because we are looking and we will find the root cause of their diagnosis, which is already a disease that was developed because there is a cause hiding on your GI, uh, um, GI system, GI tr uh, tract, it could be your hormone imbalance, it could be genetic, it could be a defect on, on, your, on your DNA and you never ate based on your DNA or your blood type. So it could be a lot of um, uh, reasons. But the reason that the functional medicine was born is to assist the practitioner, help their patients to find a final solution for their health problem and prevent death. Because if you end up getting worse and worse and worse, it become a complete gen de 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 degenerative um, 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 disease that can affect us later in our lives and destroy years of a healthy life. Wow, so you're what they consider a drugless practitioner? Definitely. Holistic Rescue and Affordable Wellness Center is 100% drugless practitioners. We use the old practice of, and the I mean, what they call the ancient part, um, part of the naturopathic medicine before uh, they develop, you know, the new modern naturopathic medicine, which some doctors, naturopathic doctors, still do some residency in hospitals and get a DEA license to prescribe pharmaceuticals. We don't practice both ways. That's why we call ourselves and we're certified to be practiced as drugless practitioners. We try to avoid 100% pharmaceuticals because that is the job of an MD, not for an ND. Got it. Well, let's go to a short commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to ask the doctor here, you know, to talk about one of their cases that they talked to me before we came on the air that was very, very, oh, wow, the graphical pictures on the of this kid is incredible. It's a hard case, a heartbreaker, but there really is solutions out there if you really look for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. I want to invite you to listen in to my podcast, Every day from Monday to Friday, we got hot topics that we're going to be discussing and talking about from here in Las Vegas and around the world. You don't want to miss this podcast because it's going to be burning hot with these topics. Don't miss it. From Monday to Friday, talking to Mr. 702. back again and of course today the subject is awareness for our wellness and let we keep on here talking to dr anna she is an nd and she practices medicine here for holistic rescue here in las vegas nevada and doc talk to us about one of the cases and especially that case that you were showing me pictures of of the young boy that looks oh my god that looks incredible can you tell me what the sickness was and how long before he saw a turnaround? Well, this is, one, this is one of the cases of functional medicine works very well. And then when you united the therapeutic ways of naturopathic medicine, it's a great combination. So just to be a little fast with the case of this uh, young child, nine years old, was born premature. Um, did not have had any health issues when he was born, everything was fine, but when he became around one year old, he started developing severe eczema. And we're talking about a level of eczema um, or eczema, like some um, 
that's the right way of saying, you know, our accents sometimes get involved here, <laughs> especially when you speak three different languages. But the eczema, it was so severe that it got to two or three cases um, of um, um, different flares that he got, um, he got in, in, into his immune system. And it took him to the hospital because it got, it, it got to the point of infecting his bloodstream. So, of course, with a lot of medicine, pharmaceutical applying in the hospital, you know, the child start losing a lot of immune support. When you use, uh, when you apply a lot of steroids for these cases, because it's the only medicine in the, in, in the pharmaceutical industry that can really calm down the infection, the inflammation, the, the itching is antibiotics, sometimes two or three of them at the same time, like a cocktail, and then they apply steroids. But we're talking about a nine-year-old. The high risk of this child to develop diabetes type 2 and lose his kidneys by the age of 25 and 30 years old, it's high. So we are not going nowhere. We just apply medication. And the thing is, the child had a cause inside his, his, um, his uh, digestive system, had a specific bacteria that was higher than the, than the good bacteria. So automatically his, his GI tract gave the reaction to his immune system to attack his skin, which it became the severe eczema. Now, folks, this is incredible because I actually saw this kid when he came in to the health center, and it was incredible. This kid was ripping off his skin. He was, I mean, bloody. He was ripping off his skin, literally, off his body, off his... Oh, it was, it was the most excruciating-looking pain. He was in screaming pain. It was just... It was really heartbreaker. I, 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 it was very emotional for me. I'll tell you that much. Sorry, doctor, continue. No worries. I love that you participate in this kind of cases because you are the voice, you know, and the counselor for a lot of our families. So, you know, the public need to know too that you are part of these um, emotional changes that we go through with them. But the beauty of... Uh, Doing the right thing and finding the root cause of any health issues is when you give the body the right nutrition, like you mentioned at the beginning of the program, um, and you give the body the supplements to start the healing process, and you give the mindset of the mindful of meditation and helping the motivation around you, that's when the healing, the natural healing processes start um, um, growing and burning inside you from inside out because it's impossible to start healing from the skin in. It needs to be the in-out healing. So in only six weeks, we got to see the child coming back to the wellness center, walking by himself, itching 90% less than he was itching before, smiling, happy, and asking us to just help him with changing a little bit his diet because he was getting a little tired of the same thing. And we told him, yes, this is the time that we're gonna upgrade your diet to something a little different, but we can't stop it, what we're doing. And he's like, no, I don't wanna stop, I wanna continue. But the most motivation that you give to a child is see their family, taking the actions, because in this case, as a nine-year-old that depend the grandmother, the mama, and the dad to be there next to him and give the emotional and the physical support. Because if you don't cook healthy to, for that child healing process, there's no way that we, we would have seen um, the healing in only six weeks. And of course, we're not done because the protocol, it needs to be active for six month. We're talking about seven years of suffering and only six weeks you can see things getting better. It really works. It really does, folks. And wow, I, I did witness that case myself and the kid came back six weeks later walking on his own. The first day he got there, he was carried in by his father. He was flaking everywhere like snowflakes. He was just unpeeling in front of my eyes. It was incredible. Six weeks later, that kid walked into that place 
on his own, smiling and just with a glow that you wouldn't imagine. The pictures are here, folks. The stories are real. This is really here for all of you to take advantage, not because you don't have insurance to cover it, but because you care about yourself. Let's go to one commercial more, and when I come back, I'll come back with a final thought, and I'll see you again, okay? Don't move. I'll be right back. my podcast every day from Monday through Friday. We got hot topics that we're going to be discussing and talking about from here in Las Vegas and around the world. You don't want to miss this podcast because it's going to be burning hot with these topics. Don't miss it. From Monday to Friday, talking to Mr. 702. And of course, we're back again, and I just want to say thank you to all. And just to tell you guys a little word of inspiration, life is short. Life is going to get away from you. Take the time to take care of yourself. Love your family. Family will love you too. Life is but one. Live it to the fullest. God bless you all, and I'll see you again. Thank you.